In this DIY, we're gonna show you how to install a UV sterilizer filtration unit. The UV light actually attacks microorganisms and breaks down the DNA and deactivates any viruses, bacteria, or pathogens. It also stops their reproduction. How does the system work? The water passes through the five micron filter and that takes out any solids in the water. It then passes through the carbon filter which removes any turbidity, organics, removes odor, and it removes any residual chlorine in the water. It then passes through the light chamber where the water is sterilized and disinfected to be 100% safe drinking water. This particular unit is restricted to an 11 liters per minute flow rate, whilst the one on my left is restricted to four liters per minute. So these particular units are ideal for point of use areas, whereas underneath a kitchen sink or wherever you are going to be using that water for your drinking water. If you wanted to use a larger system where you want to sterilize all the water coming into your house, you'd be using a point of entry unit. And that would have to use a larger flow rate, which would go up to 49 liters per minute. So we're going to be installing this point of use unit underneath my kitchen sink, and I'm going to install a separate tap, which is going to be used for my drinking water, which is 100% sterilized. This unit comes with a filtration unit all assembled, as you can see. It comes with the UV lamp. It also comes with a tap, which we're going to install into my kitchen sink. And it also has a countdown counter, which monitors the lifespan of the lamp. You have to replace the lamp every year. This will monitor it and give you a reminder so that you can actually see when you need to change the lamp. Because once the lamp goes, there's no more sterilization of that water. So it is quite important to make use of the counter. The whole kit comes as a plug and play module, which is easy to install. You do not need to be an experienced plumber or call in a professional to do this yourself. To start off my installation, the first thing I'm going to do is mount this underneath my sink unit at the point of use. You'll see there is a bracket on the back, which has got a standard little simple key slot. I'm just gonna mark out that distance into my cupboard, and then I'm gonna put some screws in there and hang that into place. When positioning the unit under the sink, make sure you leave enough clearance space underneath to allow the filters to be removed. I've got my filtration unit in position underneath my sink, and now I'm gonna connect up the water supply. Now, the most trickiest part of this installation is connecting the teepees, and really, it's not difficult. All I'm going to do is undo the cold line water inlet underneath my sink and insert this teepees on the top. Ensure you have turned off the water supply to your home and then put my pipe back on top so I'm not gonna be affecting any flow rates regarding to my normal tap. From there, we'll have the T piece which will come out and that'll go to my water filter. When undoing the fitting, there may be some residual water coming out of the pipes. Make sure you have a bucket and a mop handy to prevent any water damage to your kitchen cupboards. When trimming the pipe to length, make sure you get a clean cut. Starting from the outlet of the T-piece, we are going to run our blue pipe, put on our little nut and our olive, and that'll secure onto our T-piece. From there, we're gonna run through to the inlet of the filter, all the way through, and then we're gonna come out of the outlet through to the UV sterilizer, and then from the other side of the UV sterilizer, connecting up to the bottom of my tap. The system comes with its own drinking water tap. I need to drill a 12 millimeter hole into the side of my kitchen sink, and I'm gonna mount the tap accordingly and connect the pipe on the underside. This will then be my filtered drinking water supply. The final fitting is going to be connected on the underside of my tap. So we will insert the nut, followed by the collar, followed by the insert, just to prevent that from collapsing. And once that goes through the top, this is gonna come onto the underside and mark up. My piping's all connected. All I have to do now is actually put in my UV lamp, connect up the power supply, and I'm good to go. When handling the UV lamp, as you can see, it comes protected. Just pop it out and try not to hold on to the main glass section. Make use of these end pieces. Pull the padding out, pop that in. Then we're going to plug the power supply into the back and obviously mount this slightly above it. And that is going to be my counter, 
which will tell me when I need to replace this lamp, which is normally in around about a year's time. Ensure that the earth wire is mounted. My installation is complete and that was simple and easy to do. It took me just over an hour and now I have 100% safe drinking water coming out of my dedicated drinking water tap. Remember these are the point of use units which are 11 litres per minute or 4 litres per minute. Remember if you do want to be sterilising the whole supply of water to your home, you must use the point of entry units which accommodate a much higher flow rate. When you are using the tap for the first time, you will notice the water will come out murky. That's just dust in the filters and after about 10 litres, you'll see crystal clear water coming out of your tap. When using with boreholes and well points, it is important to note that the UV steriliser doesn't remove iron from the process. Separate filters are required for iron removal. If you enjoyed this clip, like it, share it. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel where we have a range of additional DIYs which hopefully will suit your requirements.